Hello Grade 11s! In today's lesson, we will be solving equations with variables in the exponents. Before we start, it is very important to know the following. If a to the power of x is equal to a to the power of p, we know that x has the same value as p. So for 2 to the power of 2x equals 2 to the power of 4, we know that 2x is equal to 4. If we solve for x, we get x equals to 2. Let's try a more difficult question together. Solve 9 to the power of x is equal to a third times by the square root of 3. Make all the bases products of their prime factors. So we have 3 to the power of 2x is equal to the power of negative 1 times by 3 to the power of a half. Remember, by bringing 3 to the top, the exponent becomes negative. And the square root of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of a half. The bases on the right-hand side of the equation are the same. This means we can add the exponents negative 1 and half. We now have the equation 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 3 to the power of negative 1 half. The bases are the same on both sides of the equation. This means that the exponents 2x and negative 1 half have the same value. To solve for x, we divide negative a half by 2 to get x equal to negative a quarter. That equation was still pretty simple as it only had one term on each side of the equal sign. When there is more than one term, we'll first have to factorize the equation before solving for the variable. Remember the steps of factorization. Step 1, taking out a common factor. Remember here we can have grouping and a change in signs. Step 2, the difference of two squares. Step 3, a trinomial. And step 4, the sum and difference of two cubes. Let's do an example together. Solve 3 to the power of x plus 1 minus 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 24 times by the square root of 3. On the left hand side, we take out a common factor of 3 to the power of x, and in brackets, we will be left with 3 minus a third. The right hand side stays 24 times by the square root of 3. If we simplify the bracket with the calculator to get 8 over 3. To solve for x, we divide both sides by 8 over 3. To get 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 2 and a half. Again, because the bases are the same, we know that the exponents are the same value. So x is equal to 2 and a half. That wasn't too bad. Let's do another one. Solve 2 to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to negative 4 plus 9 times by 2 to the power of x. There are three terms in this equation, which should make us think of solving a trinomial. So let's start by moving all the terms to the left of the equal sign. 2 to the power of 2x plus 1 can be split up to 2 to the power of 2x times by 2 to the power of 1. When plus 9 times 2 to the power of x is moved over, it becomes minus 9 times 2 to the power of x and minus 4 becomes plus 4. This is equal to 0. To make it a little easier to see the trinomial, let's rewrite this as 2 times 2 to the power of x squared minus 9 times 2 to the power of x plus 4 is equal to 0. By solving for the trinomial, we get, in the first bracket, 2 times 2 to the power of x minus 1. In the second bracket, we have 2 to the power of x minus 4 equal to 0. Now we solve each bracket. The first bracket will give us 2 times 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. 2 to the power of x is equal to a half. If we bring 2 to the top, it becomes 2 to the power of negative 1. The bases are the same, and this means that the exponents have the same value. This means that x is equal to negative 1. For the second bracket, we have 2 to the power of x equal to 4, which gives us 
2 to the power of x equals to 2 squared. This means that x is equals to 2. It is essential that we check that both of these solutions work by substitution. First, let's substitute x is negative 1 into the left and the right hand side. Both sides are equal to half. Therefore, x can equal negative 1. Let's do the same check for x is equal to 2. Both sides are equal to 32. This means that 2 is a valid solution for x. Both of these solutions worked. Thank you for joining us, grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Exponents and Thirds task video. You'll also be able to learn more about Exponents and Thirds on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.